Well, hello. Welcome to another video. Electro Noob here. So, okay, so here we have a pretty much finished attempt at a DIY Morse key, straight key or whatever. So we've got neodymium magnets at the back, to give me the counter sort of weight or pressure. Um, to make this little mount sort of hold the bar in place, I just used loads of hot glue <clears throat> and then shaped it with a piece of metal just to kind of clamp around it to give it a square kind of finish. Um, then I just used loads of copper tape at this end here to become the contact. Um, I guess I'll do something similar here so I can solder on a, a wire or something. Anyway, I don't know, but. Um, I don't have any transmitting equipment anyway, um, so but I'm just you know figuring stuff out as I go. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. I don't know if you can see the, the crack in it there. Probably a little bit too far away. It's ever so slightly wobbly, but really I can't hardly know. Yeah, you can't really notice it when you're touching it. Weird, isn't it? All right, so um, yeah, that works fine. Um, like I say, you've got the two sets of magnets pulling each other up, it's pulling each other together. Which pulls that down, which then pulls this up. All I need to do now is uh, get my Morse code down. Some crap. I'm not very good at it at all, unfortunately, and I keep trying to learn, but. Um, I missed it at the end. <clears throat> don't know why I try. I don't know what I did for the O there. I don't even know if I got the L right. Did I? H E is it E two dots or just one? Ah, it's just one, I think. Or was it I? <laughs> no, nah, I can't remember. That's sad, isn't it? Really. Um. Yeah, the construction's pretty easy. Um. Put my magnets away for a moment. Pull the bar out. Not much to it. It doesn't seem to be that hard to make a Morse code here um, in that in that way. Um, little bar. I super glue in this instance to hold it down. Um, I super glue to place everything and then hot glued around it afterwards to ensure that it stayed there. That's pretty cool. Uh, that bit there isn't hot glued actually. It's just super glue, but. Uh, Seems fine, then I put a washer under here to give me something sort of metallic to hit. Because the plastic sounded a bit dull and I didn't like it, so. But that's pretty much it, really, and just a slot to go through. There we go. So, my DIY Morse gear, sort of. Yeah, so I thought that uh, since I don't know any better, really, uh, in terms of a Morse gear, I've never really. I mean, I've used one straight key, and the gap between on and off was so minuscule, it's like a millimetre or less. So it was such a light press to turn it on. I think that's normal, but for me, you know, for now to mess around with, that's probably okay until I uh, increase my proficiency. But um, I can close that gap further anyway. Um, I was playing around with it, and I can change that gap, but for now. But now it's not too bad, it's pretty close. And as I say, I, I don't really know any better, so for me that'll do for a while. Um, yeah, I'm quite impressed. I mean, it's so simple, you know, such a simple thing to do. I thought, oh, that'd be easy to knock together. And I've done it, so that's cool. And I think that follows the, kind of the heart and the soul of doing QRP as well. Not only low, low power, but like DIY homebrew receivers, transmitters and stuff. So it'd be interesting to see how much of the stuff you can kind of assemble yourself. Perhaps all of it, nearly. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy. So there you go. Another video for YouTube, I suppose. Like, thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever the right word is. G plus plus one one.